it's Friday afternoon. Starting on this uh, entryway for this uh, property. And I'm already got started on this ditch right here. I had to dig myself a little ramp to get down in here. Because there's some stuff in here we couldn't lift. And the only thing I got out here to work with is my skid steer, so. But anyway, I got the pipe in here. And it's got some flow to it, so that works pretty good. And I'm getting ready to put dirt on it. And bridge the gap across this ditch. Which would be nice. Alright, let's get started. Okay, well, I still need to put some more dirt down there, but let me show you what I've been doing. So basically, next day here, now you can kind of see what I was doing with the getting my dirt out. There's these rows in the property, and I'm digging them out to make the road go nice and smooth up the hill. But anyway, you can see what I'm doing there. And it rained last night, which is good, because now this got some water to it, help it compact and settle and all that let me walk over here i don't know if you can see yeah let me get over here a little bit further i'm going to show you these flags up there i don't know whether you'll be able to see them but you can see the tree it's right there that tree right there and then there's like the rolls of uh wind rolls of dirt anyway pretty much right there there's all these flags but anyway that's where the property i'll show you when i get up there but that's where i gotta get the road come in so I'm gonna start doing that and making progress all right well I got all those piles moved put them right there I gotta move that tree right there and I don't know if you can see them or not but these flags now I can cut the road in uh, from the main road all the way to the where I got the pipe buried all right well, let's move this tree
Okay, there we go. All right, well now I got everything out of my way. Now I can start cutting this road in. All right, well, yesterday I came out here and worked two hours on Friday. I got this much done. It wasn't too much left when I uh, left it last Saturday. We haven't been out here in a week. Rained a lot. But um, about right there was where that tree was that I pushed over. And so I was able to, you know, clean everything up up to that point and finish dressing it up. And when I got all done, I put some topsoil down on the road. That just keeps it from being so slimy out here because I'm not ready to put gravel out here yet. It'll help it keep it not be so messy when it does get wet. Man, anyway, I got it all dressed up over there, so that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So today, I got to work on this side, getting it all done. So I got to move the topsoil to the side and then get the extra dirt and take it down there to the mouth of the property. So I got to do another pipe down there. But this is like real wavy right here. I know you can't really see it. Like the ground is like there's waves in the ground. And uh, I mean basically just level it all off so it's just one continuous smooth grade going up. But that extra dirt is what I, that I get out of there I'm going to take down there. Alright well let's keep on working. Okay, well I got the road cut in right there. I didn't want to cut it all the way down because I want to leave the top soil on there. Like I was saying, it doesn't make it so it's not so slimy when it rains. If you leave a little bit of top soil on there. Anyway, so that's getting smooth now. But now over here, uh, I kind of cut out right there. Let me see if I get the shade out of there. Yeah, you can see right there. Anyway, there's a hump right here. So what I'm going to do now just cut this down level with the grade of uh, the road basically and push it all down there where I started the pile and that way when I get the pipe in there I can just push all that dirt down in there and make a nice make a nice smooth ramp okay so let's push this dirt down Okay, now I'm down here on back over here where the, these waves are at. So um, you can see right here now that I'm cutting them out, how much I'm cutting down to level this all off over here. So let me get my hand down here. <laughs> There's my hand, so you know, it's quite a bit of a cut. And then you can see the same thing right there. So I still got a ways to cut out. I got a lot of dirt right here to cut out. Anyway. Should have some good old clay. 
after I get this all to grade, basically. All right, let's keep going. Okay, got this all dug out over here. Got two stumps right there. Had another one I dug it out of the way. Uh, knocked it off basically at the top. But anyway, I gotta get those two stumps. I can't move them with my machine. They won't break off, so I'm gonna have to dig around them and chainsaw them or something. But anyway, I'll come back to that in a little bit. Right now, I'm gonna go down there and start getting the mouth of this property ready to build a road on and get ready to put the pipe in the ground. So let me go down there and start doing that. Okay, I'm working on this side of the mouth of the property. So I got that all dressed up down there. I cut a ditch across here. Moved those three trees that were sitting there and cut out the ditch. It goes down in there and marries up with the other ditch that was down there. So connected those down there, which is good. But now that I got all that done, I'm gonna come up in here and move these three trees, that one, that one and that little one behind there so I can get in there and kind of clean all that out just so it don't have trash that come down to our pipe once we set our pipe in here and then once I get that done then I'm going to clean up a little bit more on where I'm standing get this all dressed up and moved off so because there's clay I'm standing on clay and then I can bring the clay from down there and start filling in this hole and of course get the pipe in the ground and uh, start getting this developed all right let's keep going Okay, let's see. You get away from the machine, that's a little noisy. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so we got the ditch down here basically ready for the pipe and the pipe in there. So the owner bought this uh, well pipe. I don't, know how, I don't know how we're gonna thread this together. <laughs> <laughs> to use it but anyway we're gonna try and figure it out but anyway uh so now you can kind of see how it's gonna look basically the machine the right side of the machine right there would be the driveway like the far side of it the high side anyway it's gonna come straight down basically where this tree is this tree is right in the way kind of i think the tree is right in the middle of the driveway actually but anyway so we're gonna just go right over that and then over to basically where the road is but anyway we gotta get these pipes connected and then we can bury it okay when i get these connected and, and ready to bury well i'll be back Okay, so we took those green pipes out, those well drilling pipes, and then we just couldn't get them to uh, screw together. Way too hard, way too heavy. Uh, anyway, so the owner went ahead and bought a 10 inch, 20 foot stick of pipe, plastic, 
And we're gonna put it right there where the dish kind of dug out. But what I'm doing is, let me get past the machine so it's not so loud. I mean, you can see me, you see me dig a backfill on this right here. I'm basically building, you know, a bank. You can see how it's coming around. I'm just copying that same slope, at least trying to. <laughs> and at the same time, I'm building a ramp to come down here to this level of the ground. Of course, our, our pipe's gonna go right here, pretty much in the same spot. I mean, we might angle, instead of being like this, it might be like that, but we'll figure it out once we get to it. But right now, I'm just kind of getting the road down here basically moving all that dirt that's down there uh that was down there by the 90. you can barely see it right there moving all that dirt down here so we can build this bridge basically across this ditch and uh get the ramp one continuous grade down into this other level because this level down here is lower than up here but anyway good clean fun moving dirt that's all we're doing for a little bit all right let me keep going
couple days later now since uh, Saturday when I was putting that dirt in there. My camera died, of course. <laughs> uh, but anyway, now I'm just going to show it to you. But I want to show you from this view. So now you can see how it looks when uh, that road hits the mouth of the property. So, And I'm up on the hill right now looking down at it. So it looks pretty cool. So I just want to show you that view right there. Okay, let's go down and look at it. Okay. Oh, my truck came right up it, so that's good. <laughs> All right, but this is how it looks now. It rained uh, that night, Saturday night, when we got done, so which is good. Nothing to help compact it. But anyway, I actually really needed to add some more dirt. And I may do that. But, uh, yeah, so right... Yeah, you can see the pipe right there. But basically, right there, going like that. Probably about four scoops of dirt. And that can make it so you can get more straight. Even though his pipe's in there at an angle, he still wants to drive across it straight. It really needs to be about five more feet, the pipe, the length of the pipe. Need to be about five more feet on each side, and that would have been very helpful. But anyway, a lot better than it, than it was trying to get in there. I mean, we didn't even have a road in there. didn't even have a... It was like a drop off. Anyway, here's a good view now. You can see the whole cleared off property and everything. Looks pretty good. So I guess, like I said, I needed to finish putting more dirt down, but you know, we're kind of out of time. The owner is, I want to put more time into it. So he said he'll come out here and put these piles of uh, dirt, which is topsoil you know, over the road and on the sides there with his tractor, so he'll take care of that. So I'm gonna leave it like this. But I'm pretty happy with it. All right, let me show you the other part. Okay, so we just came from down there, making this bend right here, going down to the other pipe. It looks pretty cool. So like I was saying, the owner's gonna come back in here with his tractor and put the topsoil back on this road. But right here, you know, that's a stump right there and that's a stump, so it really needs to get them cut out. Uh, but anyway, so that's a pretty good little road. Like I said, it's just really kind of roughed in right now, basically so they can get in here. And, uh, you know, he's not gonna put gravel down right now. But uh, it won't take much to do that once he's ready to put gravel in. Okay, well, let's go across the, uh, the ditch right there and out to the mouth of the road. Okay, here's what the other end of the road looks like on the other side of that ditch. So it's pretty cool, I like how it, you know, goes through the trees and whatnot. I like that. And now we're back up on the hill on this side. And right there is the mouth of the, well, the opening, I should say, to the main road. So we'll look at that. All right, let's go over there and take a look at it. All right, well, that's the main road. And you come into your property and into the property. So that's what the road looks like. So it's not too bad, it's a pretty neat little piece of property been fun to clear it and develop this road for it so it's been a pretty fun project i liked it all right well i'm gonna end this video right here hope you enjoyed it till the next one thanks for watching